What is up my sexy mates of YouTube, my name is Ozzy Marcel and in today's video we're going to be looking at three of the best Adidas fragrances you can buy. But before we get into that, if you like the content I make here on YouTube, please consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below, subscribing to the channel, and also if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up, both of those help me out immensely, and also if you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down, that's okay too. So let's talk about some fragrances. <laughs> about Adidas fragrances is that they generally come in at under $15 Australian, making them arguably the cheapest entry point into men's perfumery and fragrances. So with that said, I'm going to keep this list at the Adidas fragrances that are $15 and under. You can get a couple of Adidas Strike fragrances uh, and they typically cost about $30 Australian, $25 to $30 Australian. They're okay, but for the price you can get a lot better and the quality of the ingredients really just isn't there. So these fragrances are the cheaper Adidas ones and yeah, let's start looking at them. So my favorite of the bunch is easily Champions, the Editor Lab. What I like about this scent is that it smells almost identical to Paco Rabanne's Invictus. However, it is a touch fresher, less dense and none of that sort of icky ambergris note. It's a very nice fragrance. Bottle design leaves something to be desired, but that's okay when you're paying $10 for a scent. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is $12 at Chemist Warehouse. And I'll just waste a spray. Yeah, it smells very close to Paco Rabanne's Invictus. Perhaps even Paco Rabanne's Invictus Aqua. It's a great fragrance. Quite, quite nice. Very fresh, very clean. It's got a fruitiness and a sportiness to it as well, making this ideal for a teenager or somebody that's just worked out at the gym, or any of those sorts of situations, this is going to be an ideal fragrance. Performance is decent as well at over six hours, which is phenomenal considering that you're paying $12 for the fragrance. The next one I'm going to be recommending is Champions Intense, the Eta Parfum. This smells, again, like Paco Rabanne's Invictus. However, it also has a really powdery sort of iris violet note to it. I like the bottle design of this one much better with the matte navy blue. Kind of nice. Fragrance itself. Atomizer is weak, again. Yeah, it's quite similar to the Eta Toilette. It just has that powdery quality to it. However, the performance of this one is better. It lasts about seven to eight hours, depending on how many sprays. And this one will cost you $15 from Chemist Warehouse. At that price, it is also a pretty solid buy. And the last fragrance that I'm going to be recommending from Adidas is Victory League. This one is basically a clone of Dolce & Gabbana's The One, the Eta Toilette. It also smells like, to a lesser extent, Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy, the EDT. Which I'm actually, that's my fragrance of the day. Victory League, weak atomizer again. Smells very reminiscent of Dolce & Gabbana's The One, but without any of the quality. However, and at the price of $8 Australian, the only other fragrance that really sort of smells like Dolce & Gabbana's The One EDT at a similar price point is Nike Man Brown and Nike Man Red. They both smell pretty much identical to one another, at least to my nose. Red is a touch fruitier, brown is a touch woodier, and they're about $10 Australian. So depending on sort of whether you'd rather Nike or Adidas, even though it's not real Nike, at $10 to $15 Australian, you've got quite a few options there when it comes to these Adidas fragrances. I will give an honorable mention to Adidas Ice Dive. That is a very fresh, very clean fragrance. It's a little fruity, and it's got a really prominent mint note as well, and that only costs $8 at Chemist Warehouse as well. But for the most part, I'm gonna be recommending these three here. Uh, the best value is Champions League, the EDT, because of how close it smells to Paco Rabanne's Invictus. However, I think the freshness makes it smell better than Invictus, although it doesn't have the quality of Invictus. And then, these two are sort of like equal second. Champions Intense is decent, and so is Victory League. If you've ever worn any of those fragrances before, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I'll catch you guys around.